All right, guys. What's up? This is Fred from Gaming History 101, and uh, today I have made a purchase of a Atari Jaguar, and I've never owned one of these before. It came with some games and stuff. It was a pretty long-term bundle, and uh, I'm opening this now, and I figured I'd open it with you guys so that if, like, the system's falling apart and shit that I can get mad on, on the air with you guys. But anyway, as you can see, this guy seems to have bundled everything up quite nicely. So let's see what we got here. Um, in here is uh, everything is nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. This, this shipper knows what they're doing. Um, there should be quite a, a few items in here that kind of come together and make up everything you'd, you'd want out of a, a Jaguar. So let's see here. This first thing here is a controller, obviously. Let's get it out. Okay. There's a Jaguar controller. Now you'll notice with the Jaguar controllers, there's three buttons, A, B, and C, start and select, D-pad, and then the lovely keypad that will be used a lot in the future. Uh, see here, there's the second controller. Then in here, manual and merch of Cybermorph. Now most of these games came boxed. In this particular case, Cybermorph did not because it came with the Jaguar. So... There's Cybermorph with its manual, and the guy has kept the Jaguar manual, so I didn't know this came with it, but that's pretty cool. So I got the user guide, and he even has the Jaguar, which was a, uh, a bunch of crap you could buy to uh, show off the fact that you just spent 250 bucks on a console that no one was going to make games for, so that's pretty slick. Um, you know, again, this was this was nothing back then, but now this is uh, this is some fun collector stuff. Not to mention that, but uh, that means that later on, if I go to uh, make this kind of a complete collection, because I'm starting to get into full box stuff, all I have to do is buy a Jaguar box, and I'm good to go. So, all right, let's see what this is over here. There were a couple accessories included with it, and let's see what this is. Uh, this is. The RF cable and the power cord, always important. And, all right, let's see what we got here. We got some box stuff. So, first up, all these games did come boxed. And as you'll know, there aren't too many Jaguar games really worth having. But I'd say this one's probably number one. That's a boxed copy of Aliens vs. Predator. Now, with this game, uh, much like the uh, Sega one that came out, recently, um, you know, there's three campaigns, Alien, Predator, and Colonial Marine, and uh, this version's a box copy that has all the inserts and things like that. I might open one of these up and show an insert off, but in the interest of time, I'm going to look through all of them as fast as possible. Uh, and then, obviously, if you're culminating a uh, Atari Jaguar essential collection, um, I would say this is probably number two. Uh. I wish I love that opening the box cam, uh, which is Tempest 2000. Again, the draw of this bundle was all the box copies. So there's a Tempest 2000 right there, boxed up. Next up is the Jaguar Team Tap. Now this, let's see if I can, I, I don't do many unboxing videos, and those of you who watch them know that aside from the merchandise being good, my unboxing videos kind of suck. But uh, let's see how quick I can tear through this with one hand. The team tap, and this looks boxed and in great condition, like rack condition, um, was made for the Jaguar, which allowed you to put four controllers in for uh, four-player games, including one of the games that I did get today. So that's pretty cool. Um, the game that I got in question is, as you can see, NBA Jam Tournament Edition. So I'll see if I can get this open real quick and easy-like. I think this one's come out a little faster, so, anyway. Ugh. Now, I don't know how rare this one is, but I've been told this is a very good version of uh, NBA Jam TE, and since it's one of the few sports games I do like, um, look forward to playing that. And then last but not least, these are probably two hotbed ones. Um, he warned me that uh, he found this Wolfenstein at a garage sale, and so it probably wouldn't be in very good condition, but uh, I'd say that if it's got a box, it's in better condition than a brunt of the uh, Jaguar games on the market. But here's a box copy of uh, Wolfenstein 3D. And then last but not least, I would say another 
gem from the Jaguar age, especially because uh, this was the first time where instead of just being a port that was usually stripped down, this actually took a game that existed and enhanced it, which is Doom. So here's a box copy of Doom, which I believe has extra levels and some extra special stuff that uh, other versions did not have. Now let me see if I can open this up real quick, kind of show off what an insert in a Jaguar game looks like. Let's pull this open and see what we got here. Okay, yeah, so as we said, there are these little inserts, and what these do is on the keypad, you have the keypad here, you kind of put the insert in, and the buttons all relate to something. In Doom, this was particularly useful um, because it allowed you to uh, um, put the uh, or switch weapons at will, so you didn't have to scroll through them like you had to in uh, other versions that weren't the PC version. And I'd say we should bring the Guest of Honor out and show him off. Um, this is something I've never seen outside of a box before, which is the console itself. So let's bring this down and get it all set up real quick. Now, of course, Knowing me at Gaming History 101, you can expect a lot of videos of gameplay of these games and maybe a couple others I'll pick up shortly um, because there's really not much more I want for the console other than maybe Kasumi Ninja and something else. But, oh, I've also got Raiden uh, that I want to pick up, but I, of course, you know, haven't gotten to it yet. Um, but, mm, last but not least, the Fabled Jaguar console. Never had one of these in my hand before, but looks nice. There's not a scratch on it. All the hookups look good. Anyway, so there you go. There's the Atari Jaguar, along with a slew of games. Fun little collection, and probably the most money I've spent on a retro uh, bundle in a while. So uh, without further ado, we'll call it a day. But uh, you can check us out at Gaming History 101, where uh, undoubtedly on this uh, channel I will be having some videos going live soon. So without further ado, have a good one.